Hi everybody. Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. And we are Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. And today we're doing a top 10. But before we do, we want to remind you to subscribe so you can see our videos as they come out. Now on to the top 10. That's right. Uh, here in the Midwest, spring has sprung. But then it got cold and muddy. Yeah. And then it sprung again. Yeah. But then it got colder and muddier. Yeah, because of the rain. But now it's maybe going to be spring for real this time. We'll see. We'll so see. we're excited. We always have one really good week of spring in between winter and summer. <laughs> I mean, there's snow before and after this. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we're excited about that potential week of spring coming up. So we are going to be talking about our top 10 favorite games that remind us of spring, that kind of evoke springness to us. Yeah. Yeah, we do have an honorable mention before we get started on the list. And the reason why this is an honorable mention is because I feel like I talk about it too much, but it kind of makes a lot of sense in this list. So that is Gentle Rain. Yeah, our kids love Gentle Rain. And spring is all about Gentle Rain. <laughs> yes, yes. It's actually been like really peaceful and romantic the past couple of days because we've had that rain. I, I love that so much. Not those huge heavy storms that just the pitter patter all the time. It's great. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I agree. Uh, that's probably why it's not on our real list is because it's more of our kids' favorites than it is yeah. our favorites. Yeah. But it is, honestly, it's a ton of plays year-round and in the spring. Yes, definitely. All right, on to the actual list. I'm going to kick it off with our number 10 choice, and that is photosynthesis. This is all about uh, plants growing, specifically trees going through the process of photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. So you have to start them off as a seedling. Then you grow them into a small plant, a medium plant, a large plant, and then eventually, in order to promote the, the, you know, the, the circle of life, they need to die and decompose so that you can plant more seeds, so that you can plant more trees and grow them and grow them and grow them. So that's why photosynthesis is on this choice. I feel like it gets thought about a lot of times as like a, a fall kind of a game because yeah. it has some kind of those fall kind of colors and things in it. But thematically, the game is really, it's about spring. It's about, about growing growth. the plants. Yeah. yeah. That's what I think of. That's one of the things I think of when I think of spring. It's not just plants, but specifically growth. All right. Our number nine is Sunny and Stormy Day. This is a kid's game, and it's a matching game, but it's not a pure matching game, and you're trying to find the exact pictures. You're trying to find a before and after picture. So one picture will be... Um, a kid who wanted to go outside and is sad because it's raining and the, the match of that is outside jumping in puddles after the rain. So that's why it's a sunny and stormy day. You have two sides. There's good and bad things that happen and how you turn those around. It comes with this little book that you can read with your kids about all the things that happen. So sunny and stormy day, kind of perfect for spring because it is sunny and stormy. <laughs> all the time in spring. It's a very cute little um, cooperative matching game. If you get a match incorrect, there all are these, um, this puzzle that you're building. If the puzzle is complete, you lose, but the kids don't really mind so much because you gotta build a puzzle. <laughs> so it, it really works out. Our number eight pick, this is So Clover. Now there's lots of games in the So Clever line, and this is cleverly uh, a knockoff of that. It's So Clover. You're given this kind of this dry erase clover, and you're using it to write on it with the dry erase marker, and it's a, it's a word, it's like a cooperative word puzzle game, yeah. where people are giving you clues, you have these random clues, and they're trying to sort out how we, the clues that you thought they they came together like two words are gonna it's hard to describe but these these word tiles and four of them come together on this thing and you have to come up with these combinations of those words on each side of the tile and then on top of that to make it even more confusing you get all shuffle those all together people have to kind of rebuild that to see how you thought of it all but an extra tile is added in there, so it's kind of these red herring things that might work yeah. really well within the puzzle, but aren't what the original person intended. So uh, it's a very silly, very fun kind of cooperative word game puzzle uh, that's so clover. <laughs> All right, our number seven is junk drawer because what else says spring unlike spring cleaning where you clean out your junk drawer? So this is a um, a flip and write game. So you have all these cards and they represent different pieces of things that you're putting in your junk drawer and they're all different 
say that word for me. Polyomino? Yes, um, shapes, and you're trying to fit them perfectly. There's also different scoring parameters for sections and quadrants of your sheet that you're drawing in. But it's really funny when you're flipping these things, and these are the type of things that you would find in your junk drawer. So I just thought that that was, I don't know, really fun because you're trying to clean all that stuff out, but it's still always there all the time. <laughs> All right, so my our, our number six pick is Bonanza, but specifically uh, the new uh, Bonanza Dahlia version. So functionally, it's the same game. You're planting these, uh, originally planting beans, and you are trying to grow these fields of them. All kind of like a set collection. You have to manage your hand because the, the order of your hand has to stay the same, and you can't take things from the back. You have to take things from the front. Sometimes you're forced to play cards from the front of your hand yeah. uh, that you don't want to play. There's a lot of trading, a lot of back and forth going on. It's a very very exciting game, but the Dahlia edition functionally plays the exact same, but instead of beans and like, not only just beans, but like weird beans, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. with these beautiful flowers with this Beth Sobel art. Uh, so I highly recommend the Bonanza Dahlia edition. If you like Bonanza, want something that's more springy, more flowery, uh, wonderful art, uh, instead of the kind of the weird classic Bonanza art, which yeah. I think some people like, yeah. but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our number five is Garten Bow, and this is such a fun tile laying game. You are getting these seeds, they turn into saplings, and they turn into flowers, but you can only put things on top of certain things. So you have to have two certain types of seeds in order to place a flower that needs those, and then on top of that, or a sapling that needs those, and then on top of that, you can only place a flower on top of the tiles below that that match it. So you have to like triple build on it, but it's pretty cool that you're like breeding these different flowers to create these absolutely beautiful flowers through the different varieties that happen. And so I just like that. It's all these seeds that you're trying to get going around and collecting to grow these greater, beautiful flowers. All right, our number four pick, this is a game called Cellulose. This is from a company called Genius Games. They specialize in really solid gamer style games that yeah. also happen to be uh, based off of pure scientific principles. <laughs> it's instead of some people try to like make these educational games that also are a game, yeah. And then the, the game itself games. is usually are yeah. pretty lame. They make <laughs> games that are educational. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. They're true games that happen to also be educational. In this case, this is all about the inside of a plant cell. Uh, it's a worker placement game as you are yeah. trying to kind of go through the process of photosynthesis and, and, and all that stuff. So uh, there's also another game called Cytosis, which has something very similar that, from them, but it's more about an animal cell where this is worth a plant cell. Uh, so it, you have all those different types of cells, the cell parts, you're going to those different locations to produce all the different things that the, a plant cell needs to build up the cell wall and do whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, it is, uh, has a kind of that nice pastel kind of color scheme going on. It works very well for spring, as well as obviously the, the whole plant theme and growing as well. It's all right there in this game. Uh, while being able to teach you while still being a super, super yeah. solid worker placement game. All right, our number three is Ready, Set, Bet, and this is a real-time game where you're betting on horses at the horse race, and you're wanting your horse to win. It's happening in real time, but it's not just your horse. You're betting on all sorts of random things. You yell a lot in this game. Like, I know slow that down, I Slow down, slow down. I know. I need my horse to go Roll the four, Brian! Just roll the four! I've actually I said that before. <laughs> Yeah, it is so much fun. Like, I have played this with my family, and one of my siblings have lost her voice playing the game because it was just, like, so fun. Um, but since the Kentucky Derby does happen in May and in, in the spring, it's just, like, a perfect game that's a little bit different than most of the things that are on this list. But it is so much fun. And don't worry, even though it's real time and you have somebody announcing, there is an app version available to where you can have um, somebody else announce so all the gamers can participate in the betting. That's right. All right, we're getting close here, guys. Our number two list, this is a game called Wonder Woods. This is all about mushrooms growing. I think it's this really interesting, uh, it's, uh, it's the Monty Hall problem, more or less, right? Where yeah, you have yeah. uh, these mushrooms that are worth various levels, um, but you don't know what level they are. You have some information about what it isn't, but you don't know what actually what it is necessarily. Uh, and on top of that, you can give up some of the information that you do know in order to give yourself more actions on a, on a turn. But is that worth it to give everyone else more information? I don't know, maybe not, because if, combined with the information they already know, that might give them all the information they need, and maybe they're not giving you any information back. 
So I like how you are uh, having to to gain all these mushrooms through various ways while still trying to figure out which mushrooms are the most valuable at any given time. Uh, it's a really, really fun game. It gets incredibly quick and it's easy to teach. Our kids love it. Um, and uh, I love it too. It's it's a it's a fantastic game, and it just reminds me of like going morel hunting with my dad yeah. when we were kids. So uh, springtime, running, you know, wet wet seasons, all that stuff. Perfect time for mushroom hunting. All right, we have arrived. We are finally here on our number one pick of our top ten spring games. If you followed our channel at all, this should not be a surprise, but it is. Kites. Oh my gosh, what a fantastic game. This is a real-time cooperative game where you um, have all of these sand timers, but they're dripping at different lengths. You're playing these cards, the kite cards, and the different colors determine what sand timers you're trying to make sure to flip over. If any of the sand timers go empty, you lose. You lose. Oh, this is such a great game. But of course, kites. Whenever people think of spring, kites is always something that I think of. We used to have this huge empty field next to work and that's what like people did. I remember just looking outside because we have these huge windows and I just see people flying kites. There's been a bit more residential properties being built, so I don't see it nearly as much anymore. But still, it's fun to look outside in the spring and see all of these kites and, and then for the rest of the year to see them in the trees. <laughs> that's, what, that's what happens to like I don't eight percent of those cheap yes, kites. <laughs> heck yeah, yeah. We we've done that. We try our hardest to get them down, but then they're just part of the yeah. But those now. professional like huge kites, yes. there's something epic about oh, seeing gosh, those out there. Yeah. Which is what this game is about. Yes. All right, you guys. Let us know in the comments below what are your favorite games to play around springtime, or what are your favorite games that are themed around or about spring. What reminds you of spring when you play them? We'd love to hear in the comments. Uh, let us know so we can be playing those games as well. Uh, yeah, this is a super fun game that list, a list to make. Yep. Uh, let us know what we should be doing next time too. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe so you can see our videos as they come out and you can find us in all of these places. You guys, thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. You guys, thanks for watching our shenanigans. As always, we appreciate it. Over here, if you follow this link, you're going to find a playlist that we've hand selected, handcrafted hand -selected. just for you yep. uh, because you watched this video. And if you check over here, this is a video that YouTube thinks you might like. So you can check that out if you want as well. All right, we appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.